guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be showing you how I created this look using some new products that I am just in love with and some old products that I've been using for a while so let's get started I'm going to prime my eyelid with the HD elf concealer in the color fair to mute my eyelid so the eyeshadow can show up better now that I'm finished with that I'm going to start with my eyeshadow now these colors that I'm going to put on my lid have no name and the palette that I have is a no name brand palette um, but I got it from I got it on eBay I got 88 colors in the palette and it was $10 so I will link down below the seller so you guys can check that out so I'm sorry in advance that I don't have a specific name for these colors but I will link down the palette below So next I'm going to just finish off this look with some eyeliner and I got this eyeliner from my local beauty supply store. It's from Ruby Kisses and it's like $2. So it's really good eyeliner actually, I really like it. <laughs> Moving on to my brows, I'm using this Control Freak from NYX to shape them and then I'm going to use my Anastasia brow tool and the Beauty Bakery brownie dip to shape them and make them look all nice and clean as usual. Then I'm going to take my HD e.l.f. concealer, excuse me, and um, highlight under and over my brow. Moving on to my foundation, I'm going to be using this Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation in the color G60 and then use my Infallible Pro Matte um, Foundation in the color Fresh Beige and blend them together. Um, I really like the finish of both of these products. As you guys know, I use my Infallible a lot and um, I haven't actually got any Tarte foundation in a minute so I wanted to try some new things and I really, really, really like this Cover FX. I'm like just... I'm head over heels for it. So yeah, I really, really like it. <laughs> when I'm done blending that, I'm gonna use my Cover FX highlight and contour palette in the color medium deep and using the color number four to contour my cheekbones my forehead my nose and under my lip So another new product that I got is this Age Renewal Eraser Dark Spot Eraser or Dark Circle Eraser. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but I love it so much. It's from Maybelline and you can get it at Walmart, Target, wherever your local drugstore is. I love it so much. It's really, really great. I saw a couple other people using it and I wanted to try it and I'm glad I did because it blends so well and it just, oh, it just looks so good. I love it. Sweet dreams are made of me. So next I'm going to set my highlight and use the color banana from the NYX highlight and contour palette and um, highlight under my eyes, do a little bit of reverse contouring as they might call it 
and um, highlight the under parts of my contour and just, you know, make everything look nice and clean and precise, girl, because you gotta look cute or whatever. After I'm done blending that, I'm going to take my illuminating powder from Cover FX in the color G60 and just go over my highlight and my contour, just to make everything look more seamless. Moving on to my highlight, I'm going to highlight my temples, my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid bow, cupid's bow <laughs> with the Ultra Poral Mania from NYX in the color Mink. And I love this stuff. It's so awesome and it's really, really good and cheap. So you gotta check that out too. Pushing back into my palette, I'm going to be using this sparkly orange color um, just to highlight under my waterline. Sweet dreams are made of these. Along with that, I'm going to use that cranberry color that I used before, and then I'm going to highlight with the color mink that I used for my highlight in my tear duct, and then I'm going to use the uh, a black eyeliner pencil for my waterline as well. Moving on to my lips, I'm going to use this lip liner from Jordana in the color Baby Berry and Baby Berry <laughs> and outline my lips with it. And then I'm going to be using the color Sin from MAC and it's one of their uh, MAC matte lipsticks. I really love this color though because it's so pigmented and it just reminds me of cranberries. I really like cranberries, so yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot to finish off my look with mascara, but that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.